In this next tutorial, I'm going to show you the basics of hand-drawn frame-by-frame animation. So, hand-drawn frame-by-frame paperless animations are basically, rather than using keyframes, you draw the main cells. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a face to this circle. So the first thing I want to do is I want to add a new drawing layer. I'm going to go to Add Drawing Layer. I'm going to call it Face. Now I need to drag this drawing layer onto here so it's pegged with the same peg so that the face follows the movement. If I do it as a separate thing, it's not going to really work too well. Now if I click in the first cell, I can start drawing using the pen tool. Now one thing that's quite tricky is drawing at this angle. So I'm just going to undo. I'm going to go to the Drawing tab instead. So now I can just draw quite freely anywhere in this area. However, it would help if I had the other layer as a reference point. So what you can do is up here, you've got the option to show light table. And that will show you a semi-transparent version of layers underneath. So I can see that layer shining through. So it's basically like an old-fashioned uh, light table. It's an emulation of that. So you can basically trace objects or draw over objects from the cell beneath. Now I'm just going to increase the smoothing a bit of that. Increase my brush, si brush size. I'm going to draw a couple of eyes. Then do that. It's not very even. And then using the paint tool, I'm going to fill his eyes in. And now I'm just going to draw him a slightly worried looking mouth. There we go. So next I'll move to the next cell. And now to see the previous frame, there's an option called Onion Skin, which basically shows you the frame before and the frame after. So I'm just going to draw the next sequence in this particular frame. Okay, let's do this ever so quickly. I'm not going to spend too much time with this. Go to my next frame. Start to close his eyes. And now I'm just going to quickly fill using the paint tool the darker coloured areas of my my particular animation. I'm also going to fill the eyes in white, because at the moment they're transparent. There we go. So if I go back to camera mode and watch that particular sequence, you can see with onion skin on, I've got the root traces to where the previous cell, next cell is. If I switch onion skin off, that looks a bit better. So there's the first few cells in my drawing. Now, there's a really, really handy tool for toggling which frame you use, which is called the X sheet. So if I go to my tabs and then choose X sheet, what that does is you can look at your particular layer and choose which number cell you currently have animated. So that's basically telling me that as I go through, which cell I have animated there. So if I want to extend cell number one, you can simply press the shift and plus on the keyboard. So if I extend number one for the first few frames. There we go. And then I want to start looking worried about there actually. So let me just press minus. There we go. So now... I was wanting to 
toggle between eight and seven on the way back down. So you can, if you want to type it in manually, you can just double click in here, type in seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, eight, and that should toggle between those two frames as my animation goes down, like so. Then we get to here, let's go back to frame six. Now down to five. Four, four, back to five, six, seven, and then back to eight. So we can go down and we can either do that process or we can find a particular section that we like and say, right, let's repeat the process by copying these two cells command C to copy command V to paste there we go and when we get to here I'm just going to copy from that cell over to here let's paste those in there we go so now I've got a nice little animation sequence there